Our joining us now with more on all of this is Marek von Rennenkampf, defense analyst and contributor to The Hill. He also served as an analyst with the U.S. Department of State and worked at the Department of Defense. Marek, this new government website is up and uploading previously unreleased videos and documents. Is this a good first step when so many Americans believe the government's hiding something? Absolutely. Um, and, you know, for, for decades, the government has ridiculed UFO sightings and the topic in general um, and has been evasive at best on, on uh, the topic. So, yes, this is absolutely a step in the right direction. And what I find very interesting when you go through these old documents is the parallels and the connections to what we are hearing and seeing today from the government. And that is something that um, hopefully through this process, it's going to be easier to review these files. They were kind of a disorganized mess in the past, so they were just declassified, but they were really kind of spread out in different corners, and it's very hard to um, analyze and access these documents. So this is absolutely a, 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 a significant step in the right direction. In what do opinion. you mean about those parallels? What, what, what were you just referencing there? I'm so glad you asked, Elizabeth. So um, well, we heard very, very uh, recently from the director of the government's UFO office. He's made some really intriguing comments about the most commonly reported UFO, and that is a silver metallic orb. And, and the director of this office is on record. He says publicly, he says, we have seen these all over the world making very interesting apparent maneuvers. And if you go through these old reports, and especially in the, the late 1940s and early 1950s, the number of reports from highly, highly credible individuals, from multiple witnesses, uh, very, very frequently reference silver, metallic spheres, orbs, or round objects. And, and that is just scratching the surface, but um, the parallels are intriguing, and I really hope that this effort makes it easier for folks who have an interest in this and, and an analytic mind to go look back and see, um, again, the match between between the, the current reporting and, and the previous reporting. I'm curious, as somebody like yourself who worked at the Department of State and the Department of Defense, do you agree with the 63% of Americans who say there's more that's being kept secret from the rest of the public? All Absolutely. of the public? Absolutely. 100 percent. I, I want to caveat that. I think the poll is actually about extraterrestrial life. So, um, you know, that, that's a that's a squishy issue. If you um, no, no, there's the two different or... parts of the poll. There's two okay. different parts of the okay. poll. Sixty three percent think Americans are uh, the government is keeping something secret from Americans. And then another uh, significant percentage thinks that there uh, these UFOs are related to extraterrestrial life. So I'll, I'll answer, do, do I think that the government is hiding or concealing information about UFOs? 110%, absolutely. We know that because they've only released, I think, four or five um, videos and, 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 and evidence and data is very hard to come by. And we know they, they, they have dozens, if not hundreds of videos taken with uh, the infrared cameras on fighter jets, satellite imagery. We know they're sitting on that stuff. We know that that in information is classified. We know exactly how and under what authorities they're classifying. And so absolutely they're right. hiding stuff. They're not, they're not putting this stuff out. And I, I want to just quickly make one comment on that. Um, somewhat distressing in, in the past, if you look back through history, the government has only has been very, very um, cagey and has been only um, open and transparent about about cases that have been solved. And what I just saw recently is that the, the, the government only plans to release information on cases that have been resolved. Uh, that is a problem. We want to see we don't care about exactly. weather balloons. We want to see the highly highly anomalous cases that they don't have any clue about. And it takes individuals leaking what we're looking at on, on, on the screen here in the B-roll. This is leaked to The New York Times. That's the only way this stuff comes out. And this is highly anomalous stuff. So, so I, I, I do have concerns about what I'm seeing and, and a potential repeat of history. But let's see the interesting stuff. Let's not see the weather balloons and, and the drones. Yeah, that's been the concern from the very beginning about this program. They were going to release and, and upload onto this website all this unclassified document and video evidence, which begs the question, Where's the classified stuff? And by the way, how much of this is classified versus declassified? That, that is a million dollar question. What I can say is if you go on YouTube right now, you can find quite literally almost hours of footage from infrared cameras on jets. So when they say 
that that information is classified because sources of and methods it's absolute nonsense they have there's so much more that they can they can release um and and their excuse uh does not hold up in this case the government's excuse absolutely does not hold up all right merrick von Renenkampf, to be continued thanks so much for coming on the show tonight Thanks so much for having me. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.